Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's BAM's weekly update for March 6th, uh, 2020. It's been a heck of a week in the markets. Grant, we're here at the BAM Municipal Leadership Conference. We had the opportunity to talk to some uh, great leaders in the market, Drew Kanyer and Mark Dispense. We're going to talk about how their firms are managing through the volatility this week. But Grant, why don't you start by telling us uh, what happened and, and what they're dealing with? Uh, crazy week, as you know. Uh, normally, if you get an unemployment number like we had this morning and an accommodated Fed, you're going to see you know, the bond market get crushed, equities uh, uh, rallying, and, and we've had the opposite. It's not about that at all. Obviously, it's just a big fear trade right now. So there's been a fight to quality. You've had uh, high yield spreads have blown out. You have uh, muni ratios at, at 115 percent, which is 30 ratios at almost it almost seems like we shouldn't even be talking about that right. because ev everything is decoupled. End of the 60-week uh, run of inflows to municipal mutual yep. funds, Lipper reported this week. Modest, $260 million of outflows, but a big change from what we've seen all year. <clears throat> I, I wouldn't be, I, no one would be surprised to see uh, a little bit more of kind of the reallocation of assets. So I think that in terms of flows, it's also a very difficult uh, environment for, for broker-dealers. It's uh, trying to manage risk. You know, you can't hedge against a... Uh, uh, an asset that has a mind of its own, the treasury market right now, and, um, and there's very little liquidity. So without being able to hedge your risk and without having any liquidity, and then you put on top of that, a lot of traders kind of face now with, you know, it's, it's almost more about contingency plans and will people be trading from home. So right. it's at least near term, sort of a perfect storm for for the market to cheapen. In the new issue market has continued uh, to be active. Uh, this week, uh, BAM price about 300, uh, almost $340 million in new right. issue transactions. Issues are still coming to market. What did we see? Uh, what stood out this week? Well, uh, so, uh, you know, our biggest deal uh, was the Western Illinois University deal. Northern Illinois. I'm sorry, Northern Illinois. We priced both. We did do Western, <laughs> but, uh, Northern Illinois, $126 million. That deal did very well. It was, uh, ended up seeing, you know, large repricing, big bumps on that. So. Um, you know, there was, uh, I think on something like that, you had a situation with the BAM AA rating and a little bit of incremental yield. Uh, investors have been a long time since they've been able to take advantage of that. Right. And then looking ahead to next week, I see it's $181 million, uh, BAM insured paper on the uh, calendar, $9 billion calendar overall. The largest transaction I see is uh, uh, for the Ottawa School District in Kansas, right. uh, $60 million. Uh, uh, Kansas has this very unusual state law where they can only price a municipal bond deal at a 300 basis point premium to the 10 year. So they're gonna be faced with, uh, you know, with pricing the deal with, uh, with very low coupon rates. It's just interesting, it seems like an arbitrary state law, but, uh, but that deal will be subject to you know, lower couponing than normal. Interesting, something to watch for. Uh, we're now gonna head off to these other interviews. Uh, Mark Dispense and Drew Kanyer, some really great insights on the market today. Hi, I'm Mike Stan with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Drew Kanyer from Baird. Drew, thanks for joining us. It has been a wild week in the market, uh, particularly for munis. Certainly um, is. What, uh, what, how are you managing your business differently given the volatility of what's going on right now? Well, given the limited upside in our market right now, uh, we've pared back our positions pretty substantially. And being a new issue shop, primarily a new issue shop, uh, we're just keeping our inventory turning over, trying to turn out deals as fast as we possibly can. And that's how we're mitigating our risk. So what's your advice to issuers in this market? Uh, they've been planning, obviously, for the last couple of months, seeing taxable events or fundings and uh, low rates. Should they be thinking differently now? Uh, no. I think the, the, the mindset should be right now is get in while you can. With these crazy low rates, why wouldn't you? And if you can step up your borrowing, uh, we've met with a number of different clients, and they're like, let's talk about taxable deals. Uh, let's talk about new money issues and get in the market as soon as we can. And in this latest round of kind of flight to quality uh, related to the coronavirus, munis have underperformed treasuries. Is that a concern for the market or is that just um, a natural? I think it's a natural progression. I think more of a concern is just low nominal yields right now. But I think people are starved for anything that's safe with stocks bouncing all over the place. So I think they're going to the safe haven of treasuries and munis. But I think nominal yields more than anything else concern us. Great. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Mark Dispense from DA Davidson. Mark, thanks for joining us. Um, it's been a very volatile week in the markets. How are you, uh, how are you managing the business differently given what's going on in uh, fixed income generally? Yeah, no, you've got you to look at some things here. So starting a couple of weeks ago, we started looking at our positions and, and really taking in um, kind of a multi-faceted look at opportunities, risk, right, and where we need to be there for clients. And so, so yes, we've adjusted some things. We've brought down our inventory levels, which I think is pretty common in, in times like this. 
um, and you know, maintain a little bit of gunpowder on the side for the right opportunities. So one of the stories really for the last year, there were 60 straight weeks of cash inflows to municipal bond mutual funds. That reversed for the first time this week. Modest outflows, but they were outflows nonetheless. Is that a, a warning side for the market? Is that a yellow light? What do you think? I, I think it's a expected, not surprising uh, trait of when you get people moving into safe havens, right? And so this week we've seen it, we've seen it with the treasury market and the decoupling with the muni market as well. People are moving to safe assets and they're going to pull cash where they can. So I don't think it's a troubling trend at this point in time or a short-term symptom, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even though rates are low, the alternatives out there um, for any kind of tax exempt type of product or tax exemption that you want in the market, there's just not many, many good alternatives out there. So, so I think once we get a little normalization, we'll probably see a return to normal fund flows. Very good. And shifting from the investor side to the issuer side, uh, what's your advice to issuers now? Should they wait and see how this market plays out, or is it is it you know, is the flow still sufficient to get I, new deals priced? I, no. If I'm if I'm an issuer and I'm looking at this, I'm going to look at what the borrowing cost is, what the absolute rate is, and decide if that's right for me to move forward with my project. This is this is the time where you don't really want to focus on spreads. I know that's easy for us to say in the marketplace, but it's true. If you get hung up on spreads in this type of market, you may miss an opportunity to really go to market and get what's a strong borrowing rate and really better for your for your uh, projects and your clients. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM. 